proceed to um, okay. Are you taping me right now? Should I uh, <laughs> brush my hair? Okay, I'm gonna have you sign in date here. Okay. You are more than welcome to take your time and read whatever you want. Um, and then I'll put your payment information up here too. Okay. Okay, that's making that. Uh, Oh, so is um, does she sign one? No. Oh, yeah, I no. sign all of them. Just one signature. Oh, sorry, buddy. You walk on the bottom, I'll walk on the top. Good time. What are you making? Hmm? Okay. What are you making for dinner? All right. Okay, so that's the contract for the inspection then? Correct. Okay. In a nutshell, mm -hmm. it's a visual inspection. So, okay. <clears throat> like on my last house, I didn't see anything in this house. Okay. Um, well, technically, you'll probably see it. Um, I think there was some wood. Like that wood, uh, yeah. dark stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Over there at the it growing. could be mold. I'd kill it with bleach and just wipe it down oh. really good. Oh, easy. Um, I've, I've done construction for a long time. Yeah. And we'd get stacks of wood that would get rained on and some of the wood in the lower part of the stack would have Black. mold growing in it. Yeah. It's like, it doesn't damage the wood, it just, because it's got moisture in it and wood is a great source for uh, food for mold, mm -hmm. um, you just clean it off and use the wood, it doesn't okay. matter. So, okay. um, I just, just bleach clean it. it. Okay. Cleaning. We test mold, but I, that one, I yeah. wouldn't even bother with. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if it was something underneath a cabinet, yeah. then I, then I would go for it. Okay. Um, and just, you know, the last house, there was some underneath some bathroom cabinets. It was like, this is your choice, but I'd recommend to test it right. to make sure it's at, not at it. So, uh, let's see, um, uh, visual inspection. Okay. So, if, if we were to see something um, yeah. that might require further investigation. Oh, okay. A lot of times we uh -huh. have to just refer to either a plumber or an okay. HVAC person. Um, uh, we'll, uh, we'll go to the extreme of finding out um, the possibility of what's going on, but is it working or not working is the, is the biggest issue of what we're going through. So okay. um, the, uh, uh, there's certain things you don't have as be uh, you don't have um, acoustic ceiling, so you don't have the situation where some of that old time acoustic stuff used to have asbestos. Oh. So you don't have asbestos going on on the ceiling okay. situation. Um, your ducting is not the old style. Um, the old style ducting is um, it's a hard pipe and it was wrapped with an insulation that had asbestos in it. Um, you don't have that kind. Oh. You have a soft pipe oh. up there, so um, you can take some of the insulation that's wrapped around that, put it in a baggie, and you can take it somewhere that tests for asbestos just to, to double check and make sure. But that would be the only place okay. that I would even begin to, so to think that you might when we When we ask the AC person to come, we could ask him to take a sample of the insulation for Correct. us and put it in a bag. So thereby not putting ourselves at risk yeah, of breathing yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Asbestos is a rock. Um, it's, it's a rock that has um, a, a fibrous material in it. Um, so the problem is, is it was causing people when it would become airborne mm -hmm. to have respiratory problems. It would get stuck. Um, and so eventually, it, uh, if you breathe it on a regular basis, but it takes quite a bit. Mm -hmm. It's not just like, you know, a few little pieces here and there. That's okay. like <coughs> oh, irritating, okay. but yeah. not debilitating. I see. Um, it's when it's so, airborne on a regular basis. So I see. Like a cigarette. I across, you smoke a cigarette, it's, it's, it's correct. your, your you health. You probably do more damage with one cigarette. Huh? What? You probably do more damage with a cigarette than one person. Um, asbestos has harmed people, but yeah. it's usually people who work around it right. regularly and I breathe see. it regularly. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. usually okay. the situation of what's going on. I see. Um, let's go through so that. And, uh, uh, let me see. I think we're to the point I can uh, um, 
start to print this. I'll print it without pictures, and then when I get to my house, I'll, uh, I'll okay. put pictures in, and I'll send it to you with, uh, yeah. with pictures. Yeah, that's why I brought a camera okay. anyways. So, uh, this way. Let's see. Um, it's divided up in your report in zones in the home. So okay. you've got interior, interior. bedroom, bathrooms. Okay. Uh, garage has its own page. Ah, okay. Technically, the laundry area has its own page. So um, everything is separated. So it's a little mm -hmm. bit easier to figure out. Okay. Now, some things I NA'd because you guys are ripping out the windows. Um, I still kind of opened them, made sure nothing was busted, so you don't have a situation where you can't secure things. I see. Technically, well, technically you can't that, secure it yeah. with uh, that little foot thing. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, the uh, the carpeting, it sounds like you're changing flooring, so don't worry about the flooring that says stained and worn. Um, do, the door, this front door though, I discussed, or maybe it might even need to kind of grind this thing. Okay. It uh, doesn't want to latch. So you can latch it, it won't deadbolt. Huh. So, um, wow. there, you have to pull ah, it super hard. Okay. So, so it's just she's a matter not going to want to muscle it yeah, to get it's that. Yeah, just a matter of furring it. Okay. What you could do is I've taken a grinder yeah, and uh, grind that little lip off of there so she didn't have to fight that thing. Yeah. You know, us guys, no big deal. You pull it and you lock it. She doesn't, you don't want her to fight that. Yeah. To get the hand 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 off, right? Yeah, the hand off. Yeah, they do that hard enough. Uh, so. Okay, let's cool. See. And you're changing the French doors. Neither one of those sliders is tempered anyways. And when you've got rambunctious boys, you want tempered glass. Okay. Um, Explain the difference between the tempers. Like, and just like a car windshield. Correct. Okay. It, it breaks, tempered breaks into little cubes if it get, gets broken. Um, non-tempered glass shards, um, really sharp shards. So, okay, so that's those, why they so uh, I see. went away from using non-tempered glass to using tempered glass okay. for anything that's below, any window that's below like uh, two feet okay. has to have tempered glass. Uh, so, I see. Um, uh, let's see, bedroom, uh, just flooring. Everything's functional. Okay. Uh, fans are functional, doors are functional, cool. plugs are functional. Beautiful. Um, so, um, the, uh, let's see, bathroom. We've got crap tiles on the counter in here. I don't know uh, if you're changing some of the tops. No, um, we're leaving it. As, okay. But that's... This is just cosmetic, yeah, but you do have a few crack tiles. Okay. Same thing actually with the shower oh. floor in yeah? the other oh. bathroom. Okay. Um, it's got some crack tiles. Now, your tiles really aren't your protection against water intrusion. It's the, it's the paper and the tar that's under it. So if the paper and the tar haven't gone, gotten cracked um, or damaged under these, uh -huh. then this is just a cosmetic issue. Huh. Okay. Um, but if these get cracked and it cracks um, oh. or, dam or you have damage to the tar, yes. it's called a hot mop. Um, they put layers of, they put paper and layers of tar hmm. on top of each other before they put the tiles in. Okay. And that tar is your waterproofing. So. Generally, these cosmetic cracks yeah. don't damage the top. Will a plumber be able to tell us? Or? Um, actually, the floor behind here oh, yeah. and the baseboard. Yeah. I, I've been in houses where the, the hot mop was damaged yeah. and, and it seeps through uh -huh. and oh. you see carpet that's wet, you see baseboard that's damaged. It will seep its way out, I see. and you so, won't. A plumber yeah. won't even be able to tell you if that's Looking at this. Okay. Um, yeah. damaged it's, from it's, here. Yeah, it You'd work. actually have to look and see. You know, are these? Is this damaged here? Do you see water stains here? Uh, but we don't. Okay. No. So, watch out, buddy. Watch your fingers. Good boy. Um, so you've got a heat lamp, and you've got wow. a central unit. Yeah. Both switches work the same thing. The other one, um, the other one separates it. The other one, one separates one light, it. The other for two lights, and yeah. you have one, two, or three lights. Oh, yeah, yeah. heating lamp. So, okay. Um, otherwise, your cabinets um, for old cabinets, they're as smooth as butter. <laughs> so, and the the, I mean, the plugs I mean, I mean, don't get any rushed up. Now the okay. plugs are grounded. Oh, so they are grounded. you do, yeah, you do oh. have. Um, originally, I'm sure these were all two pronged plugs, uh -huh. but they they 
updated the electrical oh. system in wow. the house. Um, nice. You don't have an updated, um, I'm pretty sure you have galvanized pipes still. Um, but So that's not updated, but the electrical is. So, um, Tim, what, what are the chances before we leave? Uh, you're saying that the crack in the, sh the tub uh, on the shower, it hasn't gone out far, but if there's a little bit of water there, what are the chances of mold growing underneath it? Um, it's sitting on concrete. It has no food source. Okay. It literally has to have a food source. And here's the thing about mold, is if that leaks and gets underneath and it starts to um, build any mold in here, yeah. it's encapsulated. You can't, you can't have a, a respiratory problem with it. You can't breathe it. It can't get to you. So if it can't get to you, mm -hmm. um, if it can't become airborne, it's not an issue. Okay. I mean, it doesn't mean that you don't have mold, a possibility of mold inside, anybody could, mm -hmm. um, inside a wall if there's been a leak at some time. But if it's encapsulated, yeah, it's, it's, it's when the spores can become airborne. Yeah. It's impossible for them to become airborne when they're trapped inside of a wall. Okay. So. And the plugs around water, they, they don't have the little the buttons. GFI. Correct. Um, I have it on your report that uh, the electrical spine um, at the GFCIs in the bathroom, it says none recommend GFCIs. Um, it's, it's super easy. You pull the plug out, you take oh. your wires off, you oh. pull your wires off, you go to Home Depot and buy a $15 GFCI plug, oh, okay. and you plug it in oh. and stick it back in, and now, but it has to be grounded, and okay. uh, these and are is. grounded. Okay. So actually, it's not two wires; it's three wires. You're putting a ground, a black, and a white wire and in there. So you've okay. got a so you cotton, a neutral, and a each ground. Each bathroom, uh -huh. the kitchen, kitchen, and then by the where the laundry machine is going to be. Oh right. yes. yes, correct. Okay, yeah. And correct. galvanized pipe versus um, the the newer pipes. <coughs> uh, um, the thing is, um, galvanized um, was a great pipe. Um, they'd use it for gas. They'd use it for water. Um, it's, it's got a rougher surface on it than copper. Um, and then you've also got now a thing called Weir's Bow or it's a plastic pipe, it's polyethylene. Um, those are the more common ones to use nowadays is the copper and the polyethylene. The surface is not as rough and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have a buildup. Okay. It's kind of like getting old mineral. and getting, um, RCO. hardened arteries. Uh -huh. yeah. um, so that's what happens is that the, the buildup inside the oh. pipe starts to grow. Oh, okay. And your pipe now that used yeah. to flow water that much flows water oh. that much. Yeah. So it just, your water, okay. your pressure is lower. So okay. um, you'll notice it on houses that are galvanized. Now, I didn't see it. So and I've got a 50-year-old house, and it still has a decent water flow. Okay. Um, but it's when you're running multiple things. You're mm -hmm. washing clothes, you're running mm -hmm. your dishwasher, and you're trying to take a shower, and all of a yeah. sudden the water goes <laughs> in half. That's because so it's that's galvanized. when it's okay. getting clogged, and it's only running uh, through half of the pipe. Yeah. Ah, so, I see. Okay. Um, let's see. What else we got? Kitchen. Um, some cracks and shifts on the countertop. That's pretty common okay. in this old tile. Yeah. Some of them are loose. That's easy. You can actually even take some of these off and reattach them. That's a loose one. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Um, kitchen, not tempered glass on the French door. Okay. And screen door broken handle. Otherwise, okay. I didn't see anything leaking. Mm -hmm. um, that functions, that functions, that functions. Um, and the plugs, they're just not um, GFCI. So. Okay. But the cabinets are in great shape. They work mm. really well. Is that a this built-in door? Is that a timer? Doesn't I'm sorry, is that a timer? The old um, school house where they have the timers built into the walls? No. What is that? Um, a bet somewhere on the counter, and it's all covered up, so I couldn't find it. Um, it is probably a, um, they used to build into the counter a blender, um, <laughs> a blender motor. No, I don't hear it. So it's not that. So it is a timer. There you go. Egg timer. I have no idea what it's a timer uh -huh. for. No, it's got to be hooked up to, to some electric. electrical. Huh. Um, I see. So I couldn't even tell you. 
it might even be attached to an outside light or something that they'll turn oh. it. It'll turn it on and off Maybe. after a specific time. Ah. It's a guess. Okay, this doesn't latch. Uh, it is a, a fire door. It does have self-closing hinge, so it will close. It just won't latch. Latch so doesn't catch. This won't catch. So is there some grinding we do? Yeah, or it doesn't some matter. Um, number one, you have to adjust this, okay. and this is loose, so you may have to rebuild it. Um, generally, the way I rebuild them mm -hmm. is um, I take get a bondo, can of bondo, just pack it all in, okay, and uh, just make this smooth. Okay. Let it dry and harden, and then re-drill it, because okay. um, it'll. It basically you're just starting from scratch. Okay. So I'd re I'd re-drill it. Okay. I mean, bondo it and then redo it, um, and uh, just redo your hole here. Okay. Screw these in, and put your little. Well, you may be able to leave this groove because that's where you need to be, and mm -hmm. just repack this and the hole. Um, because this is all blown out. Uh, You're not going to be able to get a screw this. in there. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the only thing that will lock this door. It, you can't even deadbolt it. Okay. So you can adjust these. Now, this one's not blown out. This screw is all blown out. Yeah. Um, but sometimes if you need to pull it out just a little bit, yeah. you can. One time. <laughs> but if you try more than right. once, uh -huh, it, yeah. it doesn't do a thing. I have no idea what these are for. Okay. You've got... The yeah. switch over there for that light. Pet there should be here. something for this, okay. but I'm not finding it. Okay. Oh, this isn't plugged in. Yes, yeah. So, yeah. Let me see. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this only that activates that when it's plugged in. I have no idea what these switches are for. None. Okay. So I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, you have a switch over there on that wall for that light. Okay. Uh, there's a switch over here for this light. Okay. Um, you've got a circulating pump on your water heater. Circulating um, pump. That is um, basically designed for the farthest water source. When you set the timer, it'll um, say you wake up at 6 o'clock and you set the timer for 545. It will start running hot water in a circle to wow. that area. So as soon as you turn on the water, yeah. it's hot. Um, it, it's like an instant hot. Yeah. So, but I'm not sure if it's functional because okay. they've got it unplugged right now. So, um, the gas line needs to get secured. Um, it's it's too loose. It's just hanging out the kitchen wall, and uh, needs some brackets. It it's your gas line for your water heater and your gas line okay. for your dryer over here. So, is that something if it makes it makes it onto the report, then the seller has to? We can Take ask care. the seller for anything, yeah. whether it's okay. on the appraisal or not. Okay. Uh, they're just more likely to do things on the appraisal because okay. that'll stop the loan. I see. Uh -huh. But that's a safety feature. I would ask for it. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to add this. I totally forgot. The firewall looked okay to me until I looked at my water heater. I said, oh, i got to change that. I didn't change it. But that's a firewall. Um, firewall. Any wall that uh -huh. adjoins the house from yeah. the garage is called a firewall. Okay. That's called a fire door. I see. Um, it has to be fire retardant. Okay. Um, it can't. It's not going to be fireproof. Okay. But it has to be retardant to slow down any fire in the house oh, okay. for a specific length of time. Okay. Generally, like sixty minutes. So is what they look for. I see. Um, you don't want a hole like that. That's if a fire were to start here. Oh, you're going there. Go right in there and ah. start the walls on fire. So, wow. Um, yeah. Any it, fire. Firewalls have to be sealed. Okay. Completely sealed. So I mean, you can have the pipe going in it, but it has to be sealed yeah. around it. Okay. And so, that wall, is that water damage on that wall? Or fire wall. Are you talking about the yellow coloring? Yeah, wall. the yellow coloring. Uh, no. Okay. It's putty. Okay. Um, at some time, it may have... It may have gotten wet, mm -hmm. and they may have just puttied it over to crack, putty over cracks or something. I see. But it's it's really not puttied well. It's really rough, and uh, so I think it's just putty. Okay. So, um, the uh, let's see, uh, where are we at? Water heater. Um, this is not correct. I just unscrew this thing. Go to Home Depot and buy a galvanized pipe that's the same length but you don't want PVC. 
Oh. Um, it rarely ever happens, but yeah. if these boil over, yeah. they it's scalding hot water. Yeah. PVC will just melt. Oh. Um, a pipe won't melt. Yeah. So either copper or galvanized, something that's designed for scalding hot water. You this, also want that to go outside the house, though, right? Because um, all the water will You right can here. run it yeah. um, outside the house, but when it's in a garage, this application is pretty normal. Okay. Um, oh. So if you feel like running it through the wall, you can. Um, but this is okay also. You just don't want it to, you don't want to take that off and leave it there because if mm -hmm. it relieves pressure, it's scalding hot water head oh, hot. Right. Okay. So, um, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Um, garage, water heater, overflow, gas line, unsecured gas line. Okay, we're okay. Um, garage, automatic reverse, no safety stops on the doors. Yeah. Um, so neither door has that safety stop. I'd, I'd change. I just put in a garage door. In fact, yeah, I put in two garage door openers for some friends, and they were 150 bucks each. So um, just for this, the peace of mind to know you've got those little protective auto reverse eyes, mm -hmm. um, that, that helps a lot. So, um, and these are older style. Yeah. So, um, they're, you're due for an upgrade anyway. Um, utilities tub, the hot valve oh, works, uh -huh. the cold valve is frozen. Huh. So it won't move. Okay. Now, um, I'm pretty sure, I, didn't know, I don't know what's turning these on, that one works. That one works. So, you're okay for your laundry. Okay. This will be for your laundry. Oh yeah, is our laundry gas or electric? Um, I mean our heater. I mean our dryer. The gas line's down below. Gas. Okay. You good. have no 220 in here. Oh, good. You can run a 220 if you want, but no. it's it's gas as of right now is your yeah. only source. Okay. Heat. Um, so the whole house has no 220. That's fine. Uh, correct. Okay. I don't see any two. Well, yeah. Uh, that's, your that's oven's fine. gas too, so okay. we won't okay. even have a 220 there. All right. That's, um, yeah, that's okay. We don't need 220. Roof. Um, yeah, it's roof. in decent shape. Yeah. Um, oh right, you talked about that. The only thing I would recommend is that on your, um, uh -huh. if you're gonna burn real wood, oh. um, put a spark arrestor on your spark chimney. Spark arrestor. Okay. Um, it's a wire mesh. It's a, oh, it's I see. a big grate, a wire right. grate with a little yeah. a rain cap on the top. Let's see if I can even see anybody that's got one. Uh, no. Okay. Nah. Uh, it's just a big wire grate that goes on top of there. Um, just if uh, you're burning real wood and an ember floats up in the air, you don't want it landing on something and starting a fire. So the spark arrestor is made so that ember hits it, comes right back down. And I see. Not not an issue. Uh, let's see. Exterior um, stuff was in fairly decent shape. It's just a little bit of cosmetic peeling on the bottom parts. Um, and a little bit of blister peeling paint, but that's something you can address over time. It's I not even worry about the little peely stuff. Okay. Stuff goes no, three layers. Oh, okay. Um, that's just the top layer that's okay. got a little bit of peeling on it. Sometimes if you overwater or your sprinklers yeah. hit it keep, too keep much, uh -huh. it peels that top layer. Oh. So, um, and grounds. A little bit of chipping on the driveway. Um, yeah. And uh, okay. it's not bad. But the only reason I put the chipping in, in red is um, you're going to want to stop the chipping. So you may want to put some patch material on the chipping sections okay. so it doesn't patch. keep chipping. Okay. Sometimes when you put patch over areas that have chipped a little bit, um, then uh, you can stop them from chipping more. Okay. So. so it looks like the water comes down to here and then drains that way. That's why the garage door hasn't cotton water yeah looks like I they did dig, dig. In here. yeah i guess they did dig a little but yeah you also yeah. puddle yeah. over there yeah That's that I, puddle. I was telling jason you may uh -huh. want to put a french a drain uh -huh. in uh, dry well. in that area or a dry well okay one or the other um that leans just a little bit uh, the wall it's the parapet it's not really a retaining wall yeah i mean technically it is but, huh, it's, but so it's so small to the i wouldn't worry about that okay. that little bit of lean yeah but this is a bigger issue when it puddles puddle. like that so um anyway mm. you know eventually it was pretty full 
eventually it starts to work its way its way in there but next time you water, water it um, accumulates some again. of it's just going to sit there again yeah and day after day after day it'll just stay wet right there so yeah. a uh, little bit of sinking on the brick um okay. again that's just cosmetic but if it keeps doing it and sinking a little bit more then you may want to pull them out Mm -hmm. Put some sand in there and tamp it really good, and then put it back with some grout um, just to keep it from sinking to the point somebody's going to trip over it. I so, uh, let's see, what do we got? Sprinklers. She had the sprinklers going in the back. Um, it's just all that small feed stuff. Some of them were just spraying all over the place. Oh. So, not really hitting anything except dirt or concrete. So, mm -hmm. um, I. You know, if you're gonna keep all that stuff in the back, I'd adjust them just so that they don't just spray anywhere. So, okay. Um, okay. it looks like the front's pretty decent. Um, now, the wood, um, as you go through on the wood yeah, fencing, yeah. it, it uh -huh. needs oh, work. The wood on the fencing. Yeah. What about this grout? Uh, like this is just cosmetic cracking. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't even worry about that. No. A good coat of paint will cover those and, cracks. And those over there on the uh, Jason pointed out. The now that's that's got some wear on the wood section. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I'd I'd scrape it first uh -huh. and uh, just see what it looks like behind the paint. Okay. Um, but you may want to change some of that. Um, now that should be on your termite report. Came out clear. Came out clear. They didn't say anything about it. Huh. Uh, if they just say it's cosmetic, but I don't know, that corner looks like it's got a little bit of wear. So, um, I, I would, um, at least scrape it, see what the wood looks like, okay. and give it a good coat of paint. Okay. Um, it, wood on the outside of a house has to have a coating, and uh, it's starting to chip, so it's going to keep rotting, okay. um, if it doesn't get a good coat of paint at least. Yeah. So. The exterior. Oh, let me see if I got any fence. Oh, fencing. Yeah, um, yeah. Some that's of the right. wrought iron uh -huh. is uh, rusting. Rust and wrought iron are mortal enemies, so yeah. you want to make sure that Get that gets a good coat of exterior paint on it. It nothing's rusted through right now, uh -huh. but within a couple of years, if you don't address that, yeah, you'll have with, rusted through sections. Yeah, because if the sprinkler is going. Yeah. Yeah. So this kind of stuff needs to get sanded and get a good coat of exterior paint. So, so hire somebody to do that, huh? Um, or your, your wife's a handy painter. <laughs> uh, yeah. But the wood on the yeah. outside, that's, you got loose spots, you've got spots that aren't even connected to the posts in the back, um, the fencing. Okay. Uh, the nice thing about fencing is you own half and your neighbor owns half. Mm -hmm. um, and so when it's all getting rotted and needs new pieces, you, you share the expense. Okay. Um, some of the gates rub a little bit. Yeah. Um, but it's they're getting pretty rotten. So um, this post is loose. Mm -hmm. So it's rotted underneath. Possibly. Um, or at the very least, they didn't put concrete, a concrete, um, uh -huh. Put concrete and put the post in concrete. So um, now earlier, uh -huh. um, the you had a big old puddle of water over here. No. Hi, buddy. No. Yeah, it's still here. Yeah. So whatever this water source is is going to do nothing but rot this. Mm. Um, it's rotten it already. Yeah. So I don't know what the water source is. Next door. Um, uh, uh, um, this awning yeah. is just sitting on the fence and it's not supported well. So this needs work. Yeah. It's Maybe just sitting here. Taken off. So it's not supported correctly. Okay. 
No, technically, it's not that much a shed. We really don't do sheds. Oh, okay. Um, but I do say something to the effect of the electrical in here. It's okay, but um, you want to be careful, especially if you're going to use this as a work shed. It'd be like the garage. Yeah. Um, and you've got exposed Romex wires that you want to be careful with. You don't hit them with a tool or oh. something like that, and then you have exposed wires. So uh -huh. um, you just want to be careful with that. Yeah. Um, but it seems to work okay. You know, you flip the switches, it's fine. You got power to the plug. Yeah. So the, uh, and the structure, uh, you know, this is unofficial, but the structure seems to be built well. So mm -hmm. the window, you know, means yeah. a lot of work. But uh, otherwise, the structure itself is, is a, a decent structure. This is built like a house. Mm -hmm. It's, it's fine. Yeah, it's not a... Uh, let's see. Um, I think we just about hit most all of it. Um, yeah. Oh, your water pressure's, um, when I put the pressure gauge on the, um, the hose bib in the front, yeah. I, it was reading like 35. Um, so the pressure was a little bit low. You okay. have a pressure regulator out there, so it can be adjusted to be bumped up a little bit higher. Oh yeah? Um, this is a leaking, right? Yeah, I think I can't shut this off. Okay. Let me uh, put in the rear hose bit leaks. What is now? Some houses you could walk around ten times and find something every time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but all this, all this. Um, Thanks. Fire water lines yeah. that are just like a drip system yeah some of them are just spraying all over the place so those i would adjust when uh, we turn some of those on okay. uh, now this i have to say this but it's probably not an issue technically they've attached this to the fascia board um this piece in the front is just decorative it's called fascia, fascia. Um, but it's only held in usually with two nails on uh -huh. each of these tails. Okay. The tails are structural. That's yeah. decorative. So you don't want to attach uh, an awning to a decorative oh. piece. Yeah. Um, the reason being is I have seen those pull away. Yikes. Um, yeah. Now, this is aluminum. The likelihood of it happening is yeah. somewhere between slim and none. Okay. Um, so. Um, uh, I seriously doubt yeah. this is going to start to slide and pull this fascia piece away from those tails. Um, but yeah. what you can do, just to be sure, attach them to the attach a screw yeah. through this yeah. to the tail, yeah. and then the tail holds okay. it in place better. Yeah, so. that's cool. Okay. But the chance of an aluminum awning, because there's so little weight of okay. it pulling away, I have had wood. Um, Start to, start to pull it away because that's a lot of weight. So, but aluminum, the likelihood is pretty small. Okay. So. Uh, let me make sure we went through all this stuff. Oh, we're missing a carbon monoxide detector. You do have a smoke detector, but okay. no carbon monoxide detector. One single one. Oh, it did. Yes, it needs a battery. Oh. Did not operate. Okay. So. Uh, let's see, kind of uh, so when I add, um, when I email you out the report with all the pictures, mm -hmm. oh shoot, okay, the whole time. Uh, let's see, I'm going to put on the, there's a firewall, a hole in the firewall by hole the, the firewall, yes. by the, um, okay. water heater. Okay. Um, that you have a possibility of having some wood rot um, out in the front on the on the siding on the wood siding. Um, but you know what? Hey, buddy, do me a favor. Don't grab those. Uh, we don't want it to stop for the rest of them because it'll get stuck. All right. You can watch them and make sure that they're nice, coming out nice and clear. Um, and then I'm also gonna do that that rear hose bit leaks. Okay. So I'll put cool. that on there too. Thank you. All right. Um, now stuff like this, 
you know, we'll say that you've got patched walls. Yeah. Um, these are cosmetic. Sure. It's nothing to worry about. Okay. Um, if it looks like it's had some damage mm -hmm. and it's patched, if it's just a situation that there was probably something attached here and they've just patched over it to cover yeah. some small holes, we don't worry about that stuff. Okay. Um, that, um, you're, um, it's capped off right now, so if you do want to run gas in there, just take the cap off, run a log lighter, and uh, it, it turns fine. I put the key in there, okay. my key, and uh -huh. uh, turned it, and yeah. it, it turns fine. Okay. So it's but not it just frozen, capped. Okay. it's capped off. Okay. So right now, it's just a wood-burning fireplace. I so. see. I see. All right. Let me take one more quick picture of that uh, siding up front, and uh, we'll be good to go. And as soon as that's finished printing, I'll put it in the report for you. Okay. And then, uh, did you want to do a, a card or a check today? Oh, check. Check. Okay. I'll uh, put your check information on